Hello and welcome to Tiny Bench. I hope you're doing well wherever you are in the world. Here we have an Ico HF81 that belongs to my friend Steve. I want to dedicate this video to my friends. You know who you are and to you. And I want to thank you very much for joining me in this journey. There is a loud humming coming out of the transformer and the speakers. The owner, Steve, thought that it had a bad transformer, but he asked me to check it out because maybe the transformer is humming because the amplifier is drawing too much current. And if the amplifier is drawing too much current, I want you to think what it could be. And please let me know in the comments. Let's see if you can guess what it is before I fix it. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what it does. I went ahead and tested all the vacuum tubes on the tube tester and they all tested okay. So both of the rectifier tubes are okay and that is not the issue. I went ahead and checked all the capacitors in the circuit and they were all okay. There were a couple of capacitors that were still the originals. These two right here, as you can see, are in horrible condition. These are coupling capacitors between two tubes in the phono section. So they need to allow the audio signal to go through, but they need to block the DC voltage that can cause serious damage to your tube and the amplifier. This is not going to solve our problem because our noise was coming out of the transformer and is also not going to solve the problem with the noise going through the speakers because I had the input selector to auxiliary and these are in the phono stage. However, this gives me peace of mind to continue troubleshooting the unit. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to check the B plus to make sure that we have the voltage that we are supposed to have. We're supposed to have, I believe, 300 volts. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to measure the voltage coming out of the tube rectifiers at capacitor C39, which is this capacitor right here. According to the schematic diagrams, that voltage is supposed to be 340 volts. So let me go ahead and measure it. But first, let me warn you, the voltages inside the tube amplifiers are high enough to stop your heart. This is extremely dangerous. Keep your eye on the multimeter. It is supposed to be 340 volts, but I am expecting it to be less because I suspect something is drawing too much current. 391. Okay, this doesn't make sense. It's supposed to be lower, not higher. That is the complete opposite of what I was expecting to find. This doesn't make sense. Maybe if one of these resistors is open, there's no current flow and that would cause the voltage to spike. But if that was the case, then the amplifier wouldn't work and the amplifier does produce sound. Okay, I need to have a cup of tea and gather my thoughts. Rocco, help! All right, guys, I was about to lose my mind. And then I just noticed something. Capacitor 39. One leg is attached to ground and the other leg is attached to pin three of one of the rectifier tubes. We have two rectifier tubes. Pin three of both rectifier tubes are tied together in circuit to C39, the rest of the power supply and the rest of the circuit. There is only one thing connected to pin three, the positive leg of C39. Do you see the problem? Pin three of this rectifier tube and C39 are tied together and not connected to the rest of the circuit. The amplifier was operating on one rectifier tube and no filter capacitor at the very first stage. So it is 
basically as if we take this tube over here and this capacitor and take it completely out of the circuit. So C39 not connected to anything, of course, is going to have a very high voltage. What a curveball. I enjoy this type of challenge. Guys, I am going to uh, wire the amplifier the way it is supposed to be and go ahead and test it. Pins uh, three and four are tied together on this tube, but not on this tube. So all I have to do is take a tiny piece of copper wire and make a bridge. Okay, as you can see, I make a good connection and now I solder it. Absolutely beautiful. So now both rectifier tubes and capacitor C39 are back in the circuit. Let's go test it. Before auditioning the amplifier in my sound system, I want to measure its output power. It is rated at 14 watts RMS per channel when plugged into a 117 volts AC. I am only using 110 volts AC to be gentler on the amplifier. That's what I usually use on vintage electronics, 110 volts, and I recommend you do the same. So at 110 volts AC, I expect to get 12.4 watts RMS. Let's see if it can do it. I'm going to drive the signal up to just where it begins to click, and then I will see how much power it is doing. And right there. And as predicted, I am doing a little bit more than 12 watts. Absolutely fantastic. It passes the power test. Beautiful. I have the amplifier connected to my sound system to hear what it sounds like. I am very happy because the transformer is no longer making noise. It is perfectly normal for transformers to make some mechanical noise, but this one is dead quiet. Remember what it sounded like before? This is what it sounded like before. Let's now hear what it sounds like on my clipsch horns. ICO HF81 sounds absolutely magical. It punches well above its weight and with high efficiency speakers those few watts can go a long way. I want to thank you very much for accompanying me in this journey and I want to wish you good health, well-being, happiness and lots of love to you and your loved ones. Once again, Thank you very much. And if you like my content, please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. See you soon.